Hey guys, happy Tuesday. And again, this is a back off week. So we've been doing heavy push press. And today for strength, we're just gonna be doing strict press. So no legs, this means the weight will be a little bit lighter. Um, again, the difference here on setup, normally for a push press, you're gonna come out with the weight sitting on your shoulders, okay? But for the strict press, I want you to have it squarely in your hand, all right? Because we're not gonna get to use our body to drive the bar, but we're just gonna be pressing with just our arms, okay? So squeeze that bar aggressively, come underneath, keep it nice and high, and the elbows are under the bar, slightly in front, stand straight up, keep that chest tall, squeeze your legs, squeeze your butt, and then fast drive, okay? The resting spot's gonna be overhead, down and back up again right away. Okay, try not to come down here. It shouldn't be super heavy today, uh, but again, if you hit failure, trying to stop here, okay? This is the spot, I'm gonna use that like a bench press, big tight breath, down and up, okay? So that's gonna be our strength, some strict press. And we're going into a pretty tough workout. Uh, we have a six round workout. Uh, it's gonna be devil's press, a little 100 meter run, pistols, and double under. So a bunch of stuff you can scale here. Devil's press is kind of like a burpee with dumbbells in our hands. So I put my hands on the dumbbells, I jump back, lay down, jump forward, wide stance, I'm gonna swing overhead, okay? Again, the press part here, if these dumbbells are heavy, as you come from the, that floor position to overhead, I'm swinging, it comes close to me, and then you're really gonna feel that press as it comes up, okay? So that's gonna be the devil's press. From there we have a run. And then the pistol, so the pistol is a uh, single leg squat, advanced movement, okay? Some basics, if you wanna just do lunges, right? Touch your knee to the ground, working on single leg strength, that's a great place to start, okay? Other variations here to work in some balance would be using a bench or a box. And when I can just keep one leg off the ground, touch and stand, okay? Alternating legs, working on some balance. You can change the height of the box depending on your strength. Same concept, you could also start standing on a box or a bench, okay? Again, vary the height as needed, and you're gonna go down as far as you can, and back up, okay? So, that's two options. We can also, again, the full movement would be all the way down, all the way up, okay? There's a way you can put a band in a squat rack to use band support as well, but I like some variation where you work on balance if possible, okay? The last thing there we have, uh, for this is gonna be double unders, okay? So remember, double unders is a skill, so focus on developing good movement. So start with good controlled singles. As you get better, try to work a double in. The goal is to keep the rope moving, okay? Try to avoid dropping your chest or um, keeping your arms out really wide when you're doing singles. The singles feel this nice position, Chest is tall, and then practice your doubles, okay? A great way here, if you, if you have hit or miss days, we call these struggle unders, just practice for a period of time. Maybe just do as many as you can for 30 seconds, and then move on. But you will get better as long as you practice, okay? Um, that's gonna be our workout for today, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.